parents. It's an issue that's raising a lot of questions from parents in Tucson's largest school district. Yes, today TUSD's superintendent weighed in on the exceptional education program and News 4 Tucson Stephanie Weaver has more. Tucson Unified School District's process for exceptional education is a growing concern among parents. I think it's been a more pronounced trend in the last year. So I wanted to kind of start the school year because there's been at least 10 situations that we have seen. TUSD Superintendent Dr. Gabriel Trujillo called the meeting to discuss the complexities and specifics of IEP, an individual's educational plan. IEP steps include determining whether or not there is a disability and whether the student qualifies for special education services. Next, IEP measures the goals and objectives that have to be met over the calendar year. Then IEP must determine the specific services that are going to be assigned to the student. Trujillo says these services and decisions are determined by the IEP team, which can include the parent, school psychologist, general education teachers, school administration, and the special education teacher. There is no superintendent, governing board, principal, teacher, or even parent that can impose their will on the decision of the team. That is illegal and it is a violation of federal law. At this point, parents are given procedural safeguard rights. That means if a parent disagrees with the IEP team in regards to diagnosis and placement, they can appeal this. Parents can make an additional appeal to the Arizona Department of Education. But TUSD says they are facing challenges within this process. We are seeing more and more the practice of parents coming to the superintendent's office or going to the governing board and saying, you will tell this IEP team that my child qualifies for this. We will always provide services. But we have the right to assign services and provide transportation to those services where the services exist. Trujillo goes on to say this is a trend the district is seeing more and more, but that is not going to change TUSD's opinion about IEP services and requests. From the studio, Stephanie Weaver, News 4 Tucson.